we have 15 days remaining to release DV Rotary 2025 results. So I welcome you to Chris Media 22. In this video, I want to talk about what are the immediate actions that you should take after checking and find out that you are one of the DV 2025 selectees. There are some things that you should focus on after checking and you see that you are one of those who are selected. So those are the things I want us to discuss about. So one of those is the address. As you all know that not everyone who applied or who will be selected that have a relative in USA, that have a friend in USA. Yet this address is more essential. You cannot submit your DS260 without putting that address. So you have to find out, you have to start finding out who will give you the address so that you can fill out your DS260 and submit it immediately. This one, you should not take it for granted because it is not easy to get someone to give you this address, especially when you don't have any relative, any friend in USA, and not even every friend who is in USA that can give you his address. People change when they are very far from you. They pretend to behave differently when you are near or when you are living in the same environment. But when they go away from you, people change. Even in yourself, you can change after going to USA. So don't think that it is very easy for you to get someone who will give you the address. So there are some people, like on YouTube here, whom I, I have seen that they try to host people and they can give you the address even if you, he cannot be your host, but he can give you the address. So there are those people whom you can try to check out on YouTube. Maybe if you fail to get someone who will give you the address for free, if possible, you can pay. If you get someone who is willing to ask you some money and pay and give you the address. That one is also another option. So you can check out to Nafla. Nafula on YouTube on YouTube here is also good in DV Rotary. So you can also check her here. And there is also EBM scholars also can help you by providing you the address so that you can fill out the DS260 immediately. You need to submit your DS260, guys, immediately so that they can plan to schedule for you your interview. Then another thing, after you have finished to get your address, as you are looking for address, you should also start collecting, especially the birth certificates of all the relatives or of all your kids or your family members that you think that you will travel with them. The reason why I'm talking about the birth certificates you need to be with these birth certificates when you are filling out this form of DS260. Yeah, not to make mistake so that you can put the correct years of the kid or even yourself, even the name, correct spellings, the way they appear on the birth certificate. If not birth certificate, if you have already finished to make the passport, then make sure that the passport you feel the DS260 when you have it, when you have it in your hands. When you don't have the passport, then make sure you have the birth certificate when you are filling that form. Because the information on birth certificate should be the same information in your passport. So just make sure it is like that. Then after that, you have checked you are one of the selectee. So you should also print out that form, that first notification letter, which you will find on the website. When you go and check, if you are one of the selectee, you will find that letter there. 
So make sure that you print out that page and you keep it somewhere. Then if you are finished with that, then you are free to start filling out your DS260. You have the address, you have the birth certificates, you, you yes, then you are free to start filling out your DS260 and then submit it. What you should not even forget to do after submitting your DS260, they will give you the confirmation form, the confirmation page there of DS260 after submitting it. Also that page, you need to print it out. Don't just leave it there. You must print that page after you have submitted your DS260. So just make sure that you also print that page out and you keep it. You will need all those pages when you are going for medical, when you are going for interview. So you need all those pages. Make sure that you don't leave any page which you are supposed to take on your medical interview and on the interview. So don't leave all those pages. So I think those are the, some of the essential things that you should do immediately after checking and find out that you are one of the DV2025 selectees. So you should focus on them immediately. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, commenting, and share to your friends. Thank you.